Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to show you one of the best packages you could install in Python. If you haven't already, let's open up a web browser and install Python by going to python.org and let's go to downloads and then click download Python. Once you finish installing Python you can verify that it installed correctly by opening up a PowerShell window and typing Python. If you see something similar to this, that means that Python is successfully installed in your system. Let's exit out of this by pushing Control Z and Enter. And let's use a text editor called Kate. You can download Kate by opening up a web browser, typing kate-editor.org, and then click on Get It. Scroll down here, click on this one here, the 64-bit installer, and then finally click on the .exe file. After you verified that those applications are installed, let's go ahead and open up a file explorer window, click on view, and make sure that file name extension is selected. We'll go ahead and close this. Right click on the empty space of your desktop, click new, and then text document. Delete everything including the .txt extension, and let's name this auto dot py it'll say are you sure you want to rename this file with this extension say yes now let's right click on that dot py file and select edit with kate on my last video i didn't show you how to change the look of the kate text editor i like the dark theme on this let's go to settings and then select window color scheme and then select breeze dark. I personally prefer the way this looks over the white background. So now that we're in the auto.py file, let's go ahead and create our main function by typing if underscore underscore name underscore underscore double equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore and add a colon at the end. And now that we have specified our main function, we're going to import this package called pyautoGUI. We do that by typing import pyautoGUI as PAG. What this is saying is import the pyautoGUI library or package as PAG. As means use this variable name instead of typing out all of the PyAuto GUI. We need to install PyAuto GUI and the way we do that is we have to open up a PowerShell window and type pip space install space PyAuto GUI. Let's hit enter. What this will do is it'll grab the package from Python's package manager, which is pip, and it'll install PyAuto GUI for us and all of its dependencies. Okay, now that this is installed successfully, we could test this out by typing Python, enter, and then let's type import space PyAuto GUI. Hit enter. If you see that no errors pop up, that means that it's successfully installed. So let's go ahead and close this out. Now that we've installed the PyAuto GUI package, let's go ahead and start using it. Let's type print, meaning display this on the screen, PAG dot position. What this will do will get the position of our mouse. Let's save this program and the great thing about the Kate text editor is we could open up a terminal within the text editor. We do that by going to tools and then selecting show terminal panel. As you can see here, it shows the terminal as a PowerShell window. Now let's get the position of the windows icon. We can do that by running this program and moving our mouse to the windows icon 
We run this program by typing in the terminal python space and then the name of our file which is auto.py. Now let's move our mouse to the windows icon and hit enter. As you can see it gave us x and y coordinates of the windows icon. Let's go ahead and save these coordinates here by highlighting them and then right click copy. Now what if we wanted to move to the windows icon and click on the windows icon? We can do that by typing peg.move capital T to open and close parentheses and give it the x y coordinates. Now it'll move to this icon and then we have to click on it. So let's type peg dot click open and close parentheses and save. Now let's rerun the program by typing python auto.py and hit enter. As you can see it moved to the xy coordinates where the windows icon is. It clicked on the windows icon and it opened up the start menu here. This is very powerful when automating desktop tasks. So what if we wanted to type something after we have clicked on the Windows icon. We can actually do that by using the typewrite function. So if we say peg.typewrite, open and close parentheses, and open and close quotations. And in here we could type whatever we want. So I will say notepad and save. Now if we rerun this program, it's going to move to the XY coordinates of the Windows icon, it's going to click and then it'll automatically type notepad. Let's go ahead and run this program by typing python auto.py. As you can see it automatically opened up the Windows start menu and typed notepad and here's the notepad application. PyAuto GUI is a very useful package when you're trying to automate anything on your desktop. I highly recommend you use it for repetitive tasks. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time.